Hello, welcome back to Ice Attorney. On the last episode, we completed the first chapter of this game, the first turnabout, and unlocked the second turnabout sisters. So let's get started. Here's an intro scene, like they all do. Phone ringing, a cellular device. Hello, this is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favour to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I got gotcha. you. So what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock. Yeah, it's made to look like that statue the finger, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now, well, you know I'm only teasing. Uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out, sorry. I'll put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Um, well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say 9, to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay, we'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's too hard. Okay, see, see you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting. Maya. Conversation recorded. Um, who recorded it? Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine, the papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Oh, this guy recorded then. You are not cogniferous of my background. Gathering information is my business, you say. I... I should have been more careful. Oh, oh. My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. And we have our visit. That is a killer. Red, white, blue. What does it mean to you? It's 9.08pm. What's happening now? Uh oh, I'm late. Uh, that's strange. The chief must have gone home already. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood. Mia. Maybe she's in her office. Yeah, this is the investigation. There's a couple more options if there's a person here. You can examine the area around, although we're in the intro right now and there's nothing to examine. So let me just move. That smell. Blood. Someone's crying. Sis. Someone's there. Oh, me is dead. Chief. 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 Dead. She lasted long. Who are you? That sister probably, I'm guessing. 
Oh, she passed out. The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief, chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. It's only just happened then. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Dead. Chief. Okay. Now, we can examine. Whenever you see the word examine come up, there's something to examine there. You can press A anywhere, but if the examine button's not there, it just says there's nothing of interest here. There's a large building right across from the office, the Gatewater Hotel, a nice luxurious place. Some shards of glass are scattered on the floor. They seem to be the remains of a glass light stand. I wonder if that'll be important. The chief's chair. A simple, functional design. Feels pretty good to sit into. Not entirely appropriate right now, Phoenix. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. Probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. Again. Back in the court record it goes. Um, there was some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand line broken in the back of the room. Something else for the court record. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Ooh. Suddenly this dude is popped out of nowhere. Piece of paper, it must have fallen from Mia's hand. Could it be? A word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya, did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store, Daddy yesterday. More evidence for the court record. I think that's enough stood me around for now. I better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. Okay, I don't know what made me do that. I know I have to move back here. That girl just now. Where'd she go? I'll put her right there on that sofa. Uh oh, I hope she didn't run on me. Oh, there she is. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay, I work here. Maya. Maya Faye is her name. She's a very important character. Uh oh. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a useful evidence of this outside the courtroom. So yeah, so all these options here. You can talk and present when there's a person in front of you. I think if I talk right now, I don't think she'll be able to say anything, but we'll, we'll see. Seems to be in shock. Yeah, I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Uh, excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? I came in. The room was dark. And sis. Sis. So she was already dead. So, you're the chief's sister. I'm her younger sister. And you were here visiting this late at night? Yes. She says she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes. It was that clock. It was the thinker. What if I present anything else to her? Um, about the thinker. The th thinker. That was. Oh, sis. So. Probably shouldn't have asked her about the murder weapon. Yeah, I want to know what would happen. I've done that before. Before Mia died, she ran a mystery from her blood. 
she wrote it on the back of this receipt. Th that's my name. Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Calm down, girl. Why would sis write my name? No, um, now I've done it. I'd better hurry up and call the police. Is there... I forget about this beginning part. Is there a phone I can use? The reception desk. I usually sit here. Okay. Maybe there's a phone in... Yeah, here we go. There's a phone right here. Right, I better call the police. Huh? That's fun. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. heard the conversation was recorded earlier. Someone was half right taking it apart. Police? Please, come quick. What was that? Someone screaming from outside the window? Damn. She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. Calling the police, maybe? Let me see if he's missing a few screws. I better not use it. Okay, so I guess I'm going back out here then. Uh oh. It's the pigs. The police. Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! Alright, I'm set to dick gumshoe, see? Gumshoe. Oh, I don't know. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. See? It must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Maya. Wait, she wouldn't have. Nah. Whoa! Excuse me! This word Maya, Maya here mean anything to you? Um, that that's my name. What? We know where this is going, don't we? The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Killer? Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. See? What? Uh oh. This started badly. Mia's younger sister Maya was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for reason the hours to begin at the detention centre. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. Wow, there, poor my little duck like a criminal. Oh, it's you, the lawyer. Good, good morning. Good morning. It's all very pleasant right now. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Wow, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Of course I will. First things first, I better get a cheer up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up. Really? Whoa. Did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Uh, what? what's wrong? You don't think I can do it? No, no one could. Who would believe me? Even you. When you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at it like that? No, no, I never thought. It's it's okay, I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Ha! 
So, he crashed and burned. He's a genius. Oh, we're a genius. One of those strike fiends into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Hmm, that was like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Thanks for her confidence, bitch. That's what she said. She says you have a smile on her face. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to trouble you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia. I know. So now we gotta talk some more. Actually, you can examine the things in here as well. Smile for the camera. Oh my god, will we talk to him? No, we not. This guy ran into the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. Let's go on with it. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes. What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. A acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. A s spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. And sometimes one topic will open up another. You can play them all in any order, but for the sake of keeping the conversation flowing, I'm going to get down to this one now. So you're an acolyte, a uh, medium in training. That's right. The Faye family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Faye family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I... I had no idea. Hmm. Wait. What? So... You're a real, honest to goodness spirit medium. With ESP and all that. Yes. In training. Well, can't you contact me a spirit then? We can just ask her who killed her. I... I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Um, I thought that would be too easy. I mean, the whole game would be over already. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, that clock shut up the finger. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it? In her own voice. Her, her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. Oh, so when they said recorded, was that her phone then? I already know the end to this because I've played it before, but... I haven't played it for a while, so some of the specifics are a bit over my head. I forgot how to delete those things. So, you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumchip, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. That's interesting. Hmm. Hi. Something the matter? Um. I was wondering, could I ask you a favour? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I ever, if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And well, I'm in trouble now. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Uh, you've got to do it anyway, so <laughs> sure, why not, I'll ask. Thank you very much. I have no one else to turn to. She has us. Say, what about your parents? 
Yeah, and she's not giving anything away on that. Don't worry, leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 this afternoon. And listening hours are almost up. I better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Hold on. Hold fire. The day of the crime isn't ticked. Why? Can you tell me about your dad had a murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I'm kind of gone used to it. Let's see. That morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's the thinker club I have in mind. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. So then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Okay, now it's done. I don't know why we had to go through all that again. Did you learn anything new? Probably not. Uh, I don't see any point in presenting any of this to her. My well, other thing to note about this game is, if I remember how to do it on this, yeah, you can save at any time. So you can't really fail. <laughs> okay, so we're going to leave it there for now. We're going to have about 20 minutes per episode during the investigation phases. During trial, we may do a bit longer, but I could literally have an hour episode and you probably still wouldn't be at the next trial part yet. Do you know what I mean? So, we'll cut it down into manageable 20 minute chunks um, and then we can um, take it from there. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Come back same time tomorrow for more Ace Attorney. See you then.